those days. What's up YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul. Welcome to Tips and Tricks Thursday, episode number 13. Today I'm gonna to show you how to import audio information from your audio files created from Logic. Now keep in mind, this will only work from WAV files, AIF files, any files that was created from Logic, it will only work for those kind of files, not files that was exported from other DAWs. Basically, the, file, the information that we're talking about is the tempo information. That is the core one that we always need to find out. Always the thing that we need to need to mix a track. Basically, I'm showing you this because well, I always get uh, session files from people and a lot of times they don't have the tempo information in it and I always have to work it out by hand. If the file was created in Logic, luckily this file that I have right here is and what I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you how to do it quickly and easily. If the file was created in Logic, you will be able to bring in and import that tempo information because Logic embeds that information into their audio files, which is a great help because to do anything, to any, do any mixing, programming, you need to know the tempo of the tracks. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it. I'm just going to go ahead and hit play right here on this uh, this track right here just to give you a little sneak peek and listen to how this track is not 120 BPM. And also this track will be available for download next Tuesday as the it is the beta week number 14 so keep a lookout for that if you like the track you can go ahead and download it next week so i'm just gonna go ahead and play and then we're gonna find the tempo of this track right now let's go ahead and play All right, so there's the track right there. Again, it will be ready for download next Tuesday. If you want to sing to it, write to it, you know the drill. Be week number 14 next week. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and find the audio tempo of this file right here. I want to create my whole session to match the tempo of this region right here, of this song right here. So basically, we know it's, well, you kind of, could kind of feel it's not 120 PPM. It is a little bit faster. And I can say that because I already know the tempo of the track because I created the track, but, um, Let's just say that's what it, what it is. So I'm gonna go ahead, click the region that I wanna find the tempo to, to wanna match the whole session's tempo to. And then go up here, go to options, go to tempo, and go import tempo information from audio file. And what that does, Logic automatically grabs the information from the file, the tempo information that was embedded into it, and imports it into the session, and there it is right there. The session is 127 BPM, and now I'm ready to go ahead and uh, mix and do whatever I want to the track. But another thing that we can do is also see if any marker information was embedded into the file info into the file itself, because Logic also embeds that kind of information. So I'm gonna go ahead and go Options, Marker, and go Import, import Marker from Audio File. And there it is right there. As always, I always usually put my markers on my session, so there is my marker. So if I sent this track to anyone else to mix, to edit, to program to, they're going to know right away what is going on if they use Logic. So let's say they'll import the file into Logic, they'll do all those steps, and now they'll see the composition of the song, and they'll know the tempo. And that's pretty much what you need to know to get started on this track when you're going to be working on it, because you need to know the tempo to do anything. And usually what you have to do, you have to listen to the whole song to kind of get to know the song and where the uh, in and outs are. But uh, if someone leaves all the markers for you, well... You don't have to do, listen to it the first time because they're already right there. You know the uh, the composition song, so you can go ahead and go about your day and mix, program to whatever you want to do. That is how you do that. And also, I just want to show you that way because sometimes this way won't work for you. I'm going to show you right now. Close that. Just undo everything I just did. And I'm going to go ahead and import that same file into the session right now again. And a lot of times, Logic, if it sees the information in the file, it will bring up this pop-up window. And import tempo information, yes. Import marker information, yes. And it will do everything I just did for you in an instant when you import it. The reason why I showed you the other way is because sometimes those windows don't pop up and maybe your logic session doesn't have that feature to open up like that when you import the audio file. So I want to show you all the ways in which you can do it if you don't have that uh, pop-up windows when you import the audio file into it. So with that said, that is it. I'm Adam from my Music Mogul. Remember to rate, subscribe, comment, and... Um, yeah, enjoy the videos and more great stuff coming soon. All right, guys, later.